Hello. This is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology. This video is going to show you how to create new formats for financial reports in Sage 100. If you look on screen, we're looking at version 2018. And I'm going to the General Ledger module, the Reports menu, and I'm going to launch Financial Reports. What you'll see here is a list of the three standard reports that are already formatted for you. Most people have already run these, and they find them useful, but sometimes they need something a little different. Well, let's say we would like to have an income statement that's comparative, shows this year or last year, or perhaps we want an income statement that shows a budget comparison, or maybe even a trend report where we can see things for 13 periods, all on one sheet. To do that, we're going to click on this button, New Financial Report, and we're going to be presented with a wizard. Wizard's going to take us through all of the choices that we have. Let's start out with uh, coming to Next, and we're going to put in a report name, and I'm just going to put in Comparative Income. My report type that I'm going to select is an income statement versus the other options, which are quarterly statements, a balance sheet, trend reports, trend meaning we're going to see uh, each period side by side, or a new cash flow statement. We're going to collect, uh, select this, and I'm going to add the word comparative in front of my income statement. And let's go to the next um, button. Here's where we have several choices. If I click on Combine Statement, that means each account number is going to be listed on my report. If I select Combine Summary, all of my subaccounts are going to be rolled up into the main account. Now you'll see that I have Department and Location. Those are the definitions of my subaccounts. So I have a three-segmented GL account. The second segment uh, represents departments, and the third, location. For our example, we're going to stay with the combined statement. Now here's something that's going to allow you to select your format. These are your columns. The default is actual and budget, but I would like to present actual prior year of variance and a variance percent. But notice I have actual and budget and variance percent and with a percent, actual percent, budget and percent. I have lots of things that I can choose. But let's go with prior year, variance and variance percent. I can also choose if I just want to present period to date information or year to date or both. For our example, let's do both. Click on Next, and now I have some formatting options. Maybe I would like to have a currency symbol, and in this choice, I'm going to select First Amount Only. For my percentages, I'm going to leave it at two decimals, but I'm going to select that I want the percent symbol. You can see here that I can get rid of decimals, I can do rounding, I can change my separators from a decimal to a period or something else. Uh, it just depends on how you want your financial statement to appear. Let's go to Next. I have two more choices. Do I want to print the general ledger account numbers on the report? And do I want to print accounts with zero balance? In this case, I'm going to say no. If I was selecting a report for budgets, I would have the opportunity to select which budget I would like to appear on the report. Let's go to Next, and you'll see that I can add a footnote. I'm not going to add one to this uh, financial statement, but you certainly could, and you can also select to allow the footnote to be changed when you run the report. Here I could select just a selection of account numbers, a range of account numbers, or perhaps a range of main account numbers or departments or locations, or group codes if I'm using those. I want everything because I want a full financial statement, so I'm going to leave this blank. Now let's launch this report and see how this is a little different. Most of my data is in year 2020, May of 2020, so I'm going to change my date and let's see what happens. 
You can see now this looks very different from the standard income statement, as I now have prior year information along with variances and variance, uh, variance percents. Give this a try and see if this allows you to have the financial statement that becomes more useful for your business. Let's exit out of here and see what happens. You'll see now that I have a new report up over here so that those all of those settings have been saved. If I want to go back to that setting, I'm just going to uh, come and highlight this line and you'll see our little modify icon. If I click in here, I can change most of the options. I just can't change the report type. But if I go through here, I can change any of these things that I would like to, and the report will be then changed for that template. I haven't made any changes, so I'm just going to click on Finish without launching. You can have as many financial statements listed as you want, and there are also ways of putting it into groups to make it a little bit easier. But that's for another video. Give this a try. I think that you'll find this helpful. If you find that the standard templates in, in, the, um, in the wizard here are not suitable for your needs, then you might want to try Sage Intelligence, which comes with your subscription of, of Sage 100. Hope this has been helpful. If you'd like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified each time there's a new posting. Thank you.